Welcome back. A live look right now at totality underway. This is a view from Texas right now. Those are the flares around it. I love seeing that. It's beautiful. And uh, we're going to see that here in just about 50 minutes or so. And let's go to Reed Kisselback, meteorologist who is in uh, Fort Drum near Watertown. And if my timing is right, Reed, it's about 51 minutes away from totality there. But you're there with you Albany students, the turbulent eddies who are putting up some weather balloons. It looks like them right over your shoulder. Is that right? Yeah, Mark, they just geared up and actually lost, launched the 230 balloon, so we're hanging out here. And we've been mentioning that these balloons uh, capture data, and so we wanted to kind of take a closer look at the tool that you actually use to get that data. So joining me now is uh, Jun Wang, the director of the New York State Mesonet uh, at UAlbany, and thank you for taking the time to talk with us here. And, uh, Juan, how are the students doing? 30, 30 continuous hours of balloon launch is certainly a lot, but it looks like they're doing a great job. They are doing great. They really enjoy this field campaign, and then they learn a lot of things uh, what they cannot learn from the class. <laughs> That's the perfect way to do it. Nothing beats hands-on experience. So can you talk to us about what's in your hand right here? I know this is attached to the balloon, but can you tell us a little bit about what it's sending back? Yeah. So we always talk about weather balloon, but the most important thing is this called the radio sound. It's a weather instrument to measure temperature, humidity, pressure, wind speed, and wind direction from the ground all the way to 100,000 feet every Ten, two second, that about 10 meter. So around the globe, we have 960 stations every day. They launch this twice a day, and it's very important for weather forecasting. Yeah, and it's very. It's funny to think you get all this information from something that can pretty much just fit in the palm of your hand. So yeah. it's very cool to see. And I know you guys are going to continue to ramp up the balloon launches. Uh, and I mean, they're doing a great job. This is a fun group of kids right here. They're very much enjoying it. I'm sure it's been fun to be the advisor to them. Yeah, uh, this is great. I be involved uh, in this nationwide eclipse. Pro ballooning project uh, from 10 years ago. So it's really get our students into this. It's something I'm really excited, and especially you all when you get involved. Certainly making all of us proud here, alums and those from the area watching too. So uh, that's what we have going on here. The eclipse looks great. If you actually want to take a look one more time, we have a really great shot set up from our photographer, the amazing Justin Chumway here. Um, with that, if you take that shot, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Reed Kisselback, thank you very much. And there is that live look that Reed was just talking about. Again, he's in Fort Drum at 324. Fort Drum will be in totality. And right now, it's a nice clear shot there. And it will have three minutes, 40 seconds. So that's one of the longer totalities.